bittersweet. It's bittersweet for us because um, we recognize that this is happening because we lost one of our own. We lost somebody who who, who signed up and who served the city for six years. Mia was uh, Mia was strong. She was kind. She represented what we want to represent as an agency. Um, but it's also a pleasure to be able to do this. And we're thankful that the state of North Carolina, that the, the city of Charlotte has, has chosen to do this, ha, has, um, has, has chosen to honor her and her family by doing this. And um, so it's going to be a somber time this afternoon, but it's also going to be a celebration of, of me and her life. And so uh, we hope to see many of you out there at one o'clock up in University City. It's going to be right near the Hilton, between the Hilton and the, and the rooms to go right there on W.T. Harris near North Tryon Street. That's all that I have as far as introduction. Go ahead. Uh, with the, what, do, what do you want people to know when they drive by and see the name? And what do you want people to remember and learn about her? Yeah, great question. Um, we, we're excited that this signage etches Mia into the very fabric of this community. And there's no doubt that, that we and many of the people in Charlotte will, will, will never forget Mia. But to, to see the signage go up, it's going to be a representation to thousands and thousands of thousands of people that see that sign for as long as um, for as long as we're all here and it's gonna it's it's dedicated to her service and her sacrifice here in uh, in the city of Charlotte I want to switch gears back to the video you put out a statement yesterday confirming that an officer did hit Ms. Pierre in the face is that officer facing any disciplinary action or reassignment at this time so that's part of the ongoing investigation. It, it, it's a process here. Um, so that officer, at this point, there's no change of assignment though, for that officer. But, but uh, again, there are, there are facts and there are things that are, are going to be developed as this investigation goes on. What does an internal investigation look like? Sure, just like, like, like many things, but we, we talk to people. We talk to witnesses. We talk to the officers. We, we look at, at video, not, not only the officer's body-worn camera, but any any video surrounding, uh, we we look at you know photographs of injuries and and the, it, it's basically getting a picture, an entire picture, not not one moment in time, but the entire picture of the entire incident. So the first officer to respond to the scene is he still currently on patrol? Yes. The blow to the face. Uh, the chief later stated that the officer hit her back. So you folks allow retaliation measures and hit the lady back. Is that part of your policies and procedures? So I'm going to speak generally here. I'm not going to speak to this incident. I'm going to speak generally. Officers, just like anybody else, have the right to defend themselves. We, we, we put that in our statement yesterday because we feel it's important that people understand and realize. Officers have the right to defend themselves just like anybody else does. And officers are able through policy and state law to uh, use reasonable force to effect an arrest. So speaking generally, I want to make sure everybody understands that, that an officer can defend themselves. We included in our statement that the female struck the officer multiple times and that the, the strike that the officer delivered was in response to that aggression. Thank you for elaborating on So, uh, again, when we talk about an active and ongoing investigation, I know those are words that we use a lot, but, but we mean it. It's ongoing. Information develops over the course of time, sometimes by the hour, sometimes by the, by the day, sometimes by the week. So there are new things that develop that, that are leading us at this point to confirm that that's what happened. How many witnesses have come forward so far? I'm not aware of that. We spoke to a woman yesterday who claimed that she witnessed the incident and she called the MPD, the non-emergency line, asked to speak to someone about feeling unsettled about the interaction that she had witnessed and she said that she was told, she was blown off, essentially. What is your response to that? 
Okay, so I'm not, I'm not aware of that specific um, witness or, or that her specific cat. But what I can tell you is that our internal affairs is open. They take they take walk-ins here at the law enforcement center. Our website has information to to that people can submit uh, directly through our website, even if they wanted to do it anonymously. Uh, there are ways that people can get in contact with uh, the investigators in our internal affairs bureau. And so, if there's someone in that position, I would encourage them to reach out, Jesse. So I know there's some stuff that was caught on video, some that wasn't, right? When it comes to the interaction um, and the fact that she, that you guys seen uh, seen a pair hit the officer multiple times, is that something that is set? You guys have seen this on video and can for sure say this. And then when it comes to him striking her back, you're for sure saying this is not on video, but this is from witness interviews. So two questions there. First question: Did is it is it confirmed on video that Miss Pierre hit the officer? The answer is yes. And this is before he hit her for sure. Say that again. And this is before he hit her. Yes, correct. Okay, but that part is not on video of her, him striking her back. Right, not clearly visible. So depending on the circumstances, the DA doesn't always prosecute low-level marijuana offenses, right? So why did an officer initiate the call over a blunt, and is CMPD planning to increase its pursuit of people smoking marijuana in public? So I think Chief Jennings really addressed this on Wednesday. Um, no, marijuana is illegal in the state of North Carolina. Some folks like that, some folks don't, and, and we understand that. that. That's something that's not set by the Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Department. It's not set by the city of Charlotte. It is illegal in the state of North Carolina. Uh, Chief Jennings addressed on Wednesday um, uh, maybe a potential review of, of, of how we handle that, and so I'll let his comments stand. It, but it was a self, it wasn't a call in. The officer decided this was. So officers patrolling the area, North Tri uh, South Tryon Street, West Irwood Road, smell the odor of marijuana, and initiate an investigation. Yet many concerts throughout the Charlotte area, there's a lot of police officers there, and there's definite smell of marijuana, and you don't see anything like it's overlooked, it's ignored. So, it, you know, to have an incident like this with a small blunt, and yet, you know, what are you guys telling the public? And yet, any concert on it, whether country, rock and roll, I don't, yeah. Tina, I don't, I don't know if there's a question in there, but what I can say is that marijuana is illegal in the state of North Carolina. Yeah, it just seems like it's, it's. Okay. So, well, I guess if you could clarify, like, yes, we know it's illegal, but like, what is, not like what your policy is, but how do you guys normally, like, I know you said it's rare that you guys go after that, but like, is there a standing conversation of, listen, if someone's smoking and you, you know, it's just, it, leave it, like, how do you, like, what's the yeah, comment? Yeah, because these concerts, you can smell it. And I've seen that concert. Listen, the, when we talk about marijuana in the state of North Carolina, it is illegal. Officers have the the discretion but are able to enforce laws of the state of North Carolina. And I think we're going to leave it at that for that topic. Okay. So people have already said they don't trust this internal affairs process. What can you say to put some confidence in what's happening here? Um, Casey, I'll say this. CMPD has done a lot of work, a lot of work, not just on this investigation, but in many years preceding Monday. Uh, a lot of work to build trust, to build community collaboration, to, to try to achieve a goal where the residents of Charlotte trust and openly support the police department. That's our goal. And it's stated in the Chief's Core 4 initiatives, community collaboration. That's our goal. So a lot of work has been done prior to Monday to achieve that goal. And I can tell you that Chief Jennings has, has not stopped working this week. He, uh, he has been, he's been on the move, on the go, having conversations, having tough talks, and, and, and that's not gonna stop. Our internal affairs investigation is thorough, it's complete, it's, it's independent and it, it, it's it's in-house. It's here at CMPD, but it's not part of an officer's chain of command that's doing it. Um, but but we 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 put in the work. We're we're thankful that we have put in the work. We feel it's important to put in that work, and we're going to continue to do so. What can you tell us about the the, the man in the situation in terms of the gun? Were the were they was it obtained legally? What was did he have it possession legally? Like what what can you tell us about the guy and the gun? 
uh, Brett, I don't have I don't have much there, but I can I, I, I don't have information as to whether it was obtained legally. But I do know that he was charged with carrying a concealed weapon. So I think that answers probably the second half of that question. I had two questions. The chief seems sort of how many strikes is enough? He seems to be like, well, so how many strikes is enough? You got something like when Rodney King was hit more than 56 times with the baton. How many strikes? And it didn't seem like there was any duty to intervene from any other officers. And according to the uh, response to uh, resistance that the CIG group and mayor put together, it didn't seem like there was- Okay, Here, here's what I'll say. Um, the the investigation is still ongoing. We're, we're trying to present facts. We're not presenting conclusions at this point. Okay, facts, not conclusions. Uh, that's where we're at. Uh, to to answer to, to to address your question about uh, how much is enough, we know we've communicated what state law says: reasonably necessary, reasonable force. And I think Chief Jennings, again, I'm gonna, I'm going to go back to what he said on Wednesday. I think he answered that question um, on behalf of the police department. Um, thoroughly and as best as he can at that point, so I'm gonna let those comments stand for him. Will you be asking the FBI to investigate it? And if not, why not? No, not this time. It's gonna be handled as a response to resistance investigation here in CMP. He was put on um, an investigation unit, he was, so the officer was removed from duty and put on an investigation unit. Is that the same as that's investigating this incident? No, ma'am. Okay. And how do you folks feel? Because some people are saying it seemed more racially motivated than just, you know, because the mayor wanted such a small amount. So how will he be able to discern on investigations? Are you folks concerned if he's going to... The, the investigation looks at the facts. The investigation looks at the facts in totality, the totality of the circumstances, and then decisions are made based on that. In the coming days, weeks, months, what is happening here to get down to the bottom of what happened on I think, Monday? I think that was already, I'm sorry, I just I think that was already stated with your internal investigation that's going to happen over the course of, like, I don't know what else. Well, I mean, people are just not feeling confident about the police investigating the police. So anything that you can say <laughs> to make people feel better about that? Um, I, I'll go back to what I said earlier. We, we the chief of police, and, and many others in our organization are having conversations with the community. Outside of this building, with the community. Community leaders, um, heads of organizations, people that play an important role in our city. And we, we, are, we are relying on those conversations to continue to build trust, building upon what we have done in, in recent years to, to try to achieve that. Do they either one of them have priors? I'm not aware of that. And were they both um, in that charge or uh, with some kind of possession? Do you know? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay. Do we know what the amount was by any chance? I don't. Okay. When you say that the officer returned a strike to the police, can you clarify is that a punch, open hand? You know? It, it was a strike. It was a strike to the face. I have to ask again. It, it didn't appear to be any duty to intervene. So how much are the, is that still intact? Because they worked so hard to put some of that the resistance, response to resistance, and it didn't appear, people are saying it didn't appear like there was any de-escalation and that even the officers showing up, like no one, there was no duty to intervene. Tina, unfortunately, T I, I, sorry, if you want to take this one, go ahead. Um, Tina, yeah, we're not at a conclusion at this point. We're not at a conclusion. So if you were saying that you don't, I, I don't know if you're, if you're stating that you don't think there was a duty to intervene or you think there should have intervened, well, we're, we're, not, we're not at that point. But we're not at that like point. that was a couple of years and, ago. And, and that's going to be, a conclusion that that people can watch based on that on that video but of course there's of course there's more really struggle being taught or shown to know that that you know there's supposed to be some duty to intervene sure we talk about we talk about de-escalation a lot and in in it's written into our policy again chief jennings talked about this on wednesday he addressed de-escalation he talked about that de-escalation can look a lot of different ways 
Okay? And de-escalation also requires, going back to Chief Jenny's comments, somewhat of a cooperating party. Okay? Again, I'm going to speak generally. De-escalation, when we think about a barricaded subject, for example. Okay? Somebody who has warrants inside of a house, and, you know, sometimes our SWAT team will deploy there. We talk about de-escalation there. That's an example of de-escalation where we're using time. We're using distance. We're using verbal dialogue to not instigate a potentially bad situation. Okay? But de-escalation generally can look a lot of different ways. So you guys haven't concluded the officers tried to de-escalate this situation? That's part of the investigation, yeah. At this time, I mean, I... Do we have questions on anything else? Anything else? I completely understand all of the concern for this, and... But there was so much work done for the response to the distance. Yeah, and Tina, I think that... I think that I've addressed that the best that I can here in this setting. I'm sure that we will have... I'm sure that we will have conversations for many, many months. And I also think that the officers should be able to respond to the situation. And I'm sure that we will have conversations for many, many months about this. And I think some of that will be fleshed out there. ...level things that need to be answered, and that's got to come from the Chief Jennings. And we had Chief Jennings yesterday, and he's unfortunately not able to be here today. But I don't know that Lieutenant Peters can continue to try to answer these things that come from the department, head of the department level. But with you guys self... All right, Tia, we're going to move on. We're going to move on. Anything else? Yes, ma'am. I want to go to Monday's Sugar Creek shooting. So can you confirm that Kia Garnett, the woman who was killed, was she an innocent bystander to the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the shooting? Or did she have a role in the
uh, I, I certainly can't speak to anything about a victim being blameless or, or not. Uh, that was an incident regarding a, an attempted stolen vehicle. Uh, suspect produced a weapon. The weapon was fired. Nobody was hit, is my understanding. And that's pretty much it. I'll forward you that. Can you provide any narrative about Wednesday stabbing on that road? I, I don't have much information there. I, uh, the, I, do, I don't believe it was a stabbing. Okay, I, there was injury that was sustained, but I don't believe it was a stabbing. What kind of injury? Uh, a laceration. He, did it involve a tenant and a landlord? I'm not, I'm not aware. And any suspects in arrest? No, ma'am. Um, Anything else? Any info on the overnight homicide? Overnight homicide, Providence Division, 800 block of Villa Court. Um, there was um, one person deceased um, after they were transported to the hospital. Um, we, we are still working that investigation. Uh, we don't have any arrests to highlight at this point, but we did identify the victim in that. Also, it, of course, we, we certainly asked for anybody with information to call Crime Stoppers or call and speak with one of our homicide detectives if they have information that, that they can share. At 704-432-TIPS is the phone number directly to our homicide detectives. Um, this will be the last question here, Jessica. Yeah. Go ahead. Um, a shooting or a um, woman stating that she was like um, uh, a shot came into through the hotel room or something like that on Queen City Drive. Queen City Drive. I, I'm sorry, I don't have any information on that. I can I can try to help you all. Yeah, we can we can try to get that afterwards here. Okay. All right. Thank you all. Okay.